Uh, oh, yeah, he wears the... <laughs> he's Sikh. Oh, okay. He's a Sikh? He's a Sikh. Yeah, he's a Sikh. Yeah. Okay. All visitors are asked to arrive at least 15 minutes prior to opening of the council meeting so they can they may sign a visitor attendance sheet. Um, They're asked. Doesn't mean they have to. No. While the council is in session, the members must preserve order and decorum and a member shall neither by conversation or otherwise delay or interrupt the proceedings or the peace of the council or disturb any member while speaking or refuse to obey the orders of council or its providing officer except as otherwise herein provided. Okay. So basically we're just reiterating some things from out of Robert's rules in here. Any person making personal impertinent or slanderous remarks or who shall become boisterous or physically threatening to those in attendance while addressing council shall be forthwith by the presiding officer barred from further attendance before council unless permission to continue be granted by two-thirds of a vote of council. So we have the right to, if anyone, uh, and, and sometimes she'll, uh, there have been a few occasions where I've stopped somebody short because we do not discuss uh, uh, personal issues. Yeah. Uh, the, so you're uh, the presiding officer? Yes. Okay. Well, I assume that. Yeah. But I yeah. And uh, then the, this next one, the chief of police or such member or members of the police department as he may designate shall be sergeant at arms at council meetings. He or they shall carry out all orders and instructions given by the pres presiding officer for the purpose of maintaining order and decorum at the council meetings. Uh, I think we have, that's been a good addition to our minute or meetings having uh, one of the officers here. All visitors shall address council from the podium provided in council chambers, and no visitor would be permitted to speak to council from his or her chair in the audience. And uh, we're a little bit more relaxed with that one when it comes to the committee meetings as opposed to uh, the council meetings. But during the council meetings, I like if anybody's talking, get them up there. We're in the process of uh, uh, getting in the uh, new uh, speakers and things. Those are, I haven't had a chance to talk to Gary. Uh, has about it, but those are in the process of coming in and we're looking to replace that podium or, over there Either that or I'm going to get it Stripped down and made the same color as everything else. That might be the easier thing to do at this point Yeah, because we haven't been able to find anybody any in any books or anything uh, To get it uh, But that's made out of walnut. That's gonna be kind of hard to get that as light. Yeah, but we can get it lighter than that I'm just saying yeah, we won't dark. get it. No, we are gonna get it this light because that's wall and yeah. it's always got a dark color to yeah. it already. Uh, persons other than members of council and city officers shall not be permitted to address council except upon introduction by the presiding officer. That means everybody has permission to speak. No one just speaks up. They always say, Madam President. He can't hear feel me <laughs> staring at him, can he? <laughs> okay. Uh, each citizen must identify himself and his residential address for purpose of the public record. And so we do that. We basically have that covered twice because they have to sign in out there and then, then also here give it for us to be able to record it as to who's here. Each individual addressing council is asked to project his or her voice so the entire council can hear the speaker. All addressing council from the podium must face council. Each visitor addressing council shall speak to council on one subject only. He or she cannot drift from one subject to another. We're a little bit lax with this one. We'll let somebody talk, if, but they're going to keep it short. We're not going to... Uh, uh, if, they, if they come up with one item and they're, they're up there for five minutes or ten minutes, then they're done. Uh, we, we need to move on to somebody else. Visitor addressing council have three opportunities to address issues. First, at the beginning of the meeting. Second, after all committee and administrative reports have been read. And third, after the first reading of the proposed legislation has been accepted by council. Time, that wasn't always so. Um, we, uh, we did that, how many years back did you say you found that? I want to say 15. 15, yeah. We added those extra times in there for for the public to have it say. And I think it still, it works out best for us if we have the 
visitors in at the very beginning because then if they, you know, a lot of them like the positive seekers and stuff, they don't want to stay for the entire meeting. Other, otherwise, we have we also have business people in here that uh, need to go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, time shall be allotted to each speaker addressing council at the discretion of the council president. If any visitor in speaking or otherwise shall violate any rules of council, the presiding officer or any council member shall call to call him to order. The presiding officer, upon hearing an explanation of the visitor, must decide on the point of order. If the decision shall be in favor of the citizen called to order while speaking, he or she shall be at liberty to proceed. Otherwise, he shall not be at liberty to proceed with his speech. So, so I mean, that would only happen as if we get somebody generally in here that's... And we've got to have them in here a couple times that their language has become a little bit flowery. So any of us can say point of order. Yeah. We'll call point of order to yeah. you and you can... Yes. Okay. All speakers shall comply with council rules. Anything else you wanted to add, change, or uh, think it isn't... Uh, my comments would be, uh, we should... Which item? Uh, in general. Oh. Um, I guess more importantly, 13 or one of those other ones, uh, 4. We should put some specifics in about um, removal and that you may be removed. Yeah, Any person of making personal impertinent or slanderous remarks or who shall become boisterous? Yeah, we've got okay. nine and five. Uh, we have, I don't know if you know it, but up at my table, I have a, uh, you can grab that on my table, what I do if there's somebody that we want removed. Yeah, and, and I was thinking that we put something together on that. Yeah. Um, I think we may want to... Um, Add that to number five, I guess, would be the appropriate place. Okay. Maybe not completely what that is, but maybe just uh, a, a yeah. quick synopsis of that. Yeah. Uh, I inform you that your actions are inconsistent with the orderly function of this meeting and fail to comply with the lawful order from the chair. I am instructing the sergeant at arms to have you removed from this meeting site and, if deemed necessary by the sergeant of arms, to remove you from this building. Yeah, and, and so I think in number five, we want to just kind of clarify that, you know, that that is the process, that you may, you've given a warning, it continues, um, okay. you can be removed, or maybe that goes in four better. And then the second, um, on number 10, I understand the, the point there, uh, but I'm a little unsure that legally you can do that. Okay. Uh. Um, if, if they're addressing counsel on a, on a specific item, that's fine, but, you know, there's going to be people that just want to come in and gripe. I think... The, the time limitations, in the way I've seen it kind of develop over time, is that there's time limitations put on them rather than content right. limitations. Okay. And so... We don't have any time limitations in e here. Exactly. And okay. three minutes is... is I, I see it all the time in other okay. ordinances. So, so um, 10, I would suggest, you know, each visitor addressing council, unless otherwise pre-approved or pre-arranged, shall be limited to three minutes. That'd be a good idea. Um, and, you know, if it's pre-approved or somebody calls and says, hey, I want to come in and talk about, you know, whatever. Um, this, of course, would not there. cover people that we're bringing in to give us information or to, you know, like whether it's uh, we had the people from out of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Humane Society in and we've had the health department in and that doesn't cover these people. Well, but the, the caveat would be there that if that says you know, unless prior arrangements are made. So even uh -huh. that, 
Yeah, we'll so that, that. that's how that would yeah. Yeah. go. So then it's, okay. it's, a, it's a universal <laughs> three-minute rule that applies to everybody unless prior arrangements are right. made. That way there's no argument that it's content-based or individual-based or anything like that. Okay. It's, just, it's as neutral as we can make it. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. So we'll add that in there as what a number... Uh, I, I would just modify 10 to okay, be, be time-based rather than okay. content-based. Okay. We can do that. And they can you want to make it 10 minutes? You say once, as long as they do. I three would say three minutes. Three. Three minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes can get quite okay. lengthy. Yeah. It's okay. going to take you three more minutes to stop them from <laughs> talking three minutes. So. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Rob? On that no, uh, that first section, I, okay. that's all I... Okay, under council participation. No person except members of council and other designated city officials shall be admitted within the railing of council chambers except during the recess period. Uh, that's sort of a safety, just basic safety issue, right? Mm -hmm. Do we need to, I mean, someone had suggested one time that we just put a little something across that opening. I mean, uh, not a red velvet thing like it would be at the theater or anything, but uh, you could put a swinging gate kind of thing like they have in most courtrooms. Um, I, I, you know, I don't. I don't. The podium going to stay back over? You know, we had it there for a while. Is it gonna well, the, the thing is, is the camera the up camera, there yeah. hits that podium right there. That's why, and it sort of puts whoever is talking there at at, at an angle. That they can be heard, but as soon as we get the new uh, microphones and the new uh, sound system in, I think it'll be easier. But I think over there is, is sort of the best place for it. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, we we need something. Yeah, I think we need that something way. When they're possible. talking, they're not talking totally that way. They're talking sort of at an angle over here. That if it's a safety issue. What makes it during recess any more safe for somebody to approach you than during a meeting now? Well, because during, well, I guess during the meeting you're concentrating on what's in front of you and you're not really... Watching them. Yeah. I mean, people come in and out that I don't, I know I don't see them. I don't know if you guys see them or not all the time. Not always. Not always. That uh, That's why we rely on the police officer. Uh, you, you do, you, you will know underneath each of the desks. We do have wasp spray cans. Yeah, that is for our safety. Yeah. and as as we uh, as we get into the new term, we'll be getting Joe back up here to uh, do another uh, uh, a council thing where she'll explain to us uh, safety measures to be taken. So, uh, uh, he, yeah. <laughs> well, I think he just needs something there so that people understand that that's the yeah. limitation you know there's well, like nothing's that. going to stop someone from jumping no. over that no if no. they really want to go for the throat there know. are those gates like you said you could put like the yeah. the court gates yeah and it could be similar to that and it only be as wide as the rail yeah or but it would be cheaper the chain would be a lot cheaper to well, put it true. across i can find a too. white one you know that would fit in there that wouldn't look or even brass or even black matted and that yeah kind of yeah a black one would a be black better. one would probably look we better we could just put across there and it just hook lightly the sign on it just sort of area. designates areas that's all it would do would be yeah. a designation of area okay Okay, council participation. No person except members of council and other designated city officials shall be admitted within the railing of council chambers except during the recess period. And we've made ex uh, uh, exceptions to that one. Uh, the guy that hands out the poppies and things like that goes up and around. And uh, we well, uh, always ask for permission. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and uh, most of the time, what we see, what we see is people will walk up to either end. <laughs> If they want to pass something around and just start it around rather than going out and doing it but uh, no council member or any other designated city official seated within the council chamber railing is permitted to have any food or drink on the council tables while conducting the business of city with the exception of the council clerk who is permitted to have water only I think uh, I always keep water underneath we don't have anything up on the uh, 
uh, uh, tabletops. All council members and any other designated city official seated within the council chamber railing is, expect, is expected to wear business attire. Gentlemen's suit, sports coat, sweater with neck or turtleneck, ladies suit, dress or appropriate outfit during the months of November through February, and business casual attire during the months of March through October while conducting business for the city. And uh, this really only applies to, uh, we only apply this to the city council meeting itself right now, but we are going to be in the process of we're going to be recording the uh, committee meetings too. So uh, that's probably a question. Can those always be business casual? I mean, sometimes we take somebody from work. <laughs> you know, if, if you're here from work, you're not going to, you don't have time to run home and change clothes for those committee meetings. Right. And I come off the golf course in here <laughs> oh, yeah. to, uh, to a committee meeting. So uh, is that workable? You have any problem with that? What do you mean? Not the committee meetings. Yes. Not well, and yeah. you'll have to have some leeway there, yeah. stating, "Hey, so yeah. you came from work, so yeah." As long as you designate it so that people won't like, "Well, how's he getting away?" or "How is he or she getting away yeah. with that?" Yeah. I mean, we've had a couple times where there have been a couple of you that have just come directly in from work and and then go is back. Is that me? Yeah. Well, and especially summertime, you know, we have a six o'clock, yeah. and you know, people are trying to mow the yard or something and come up here. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Get off the mower and come up here. Yeah, yeah you know, you know, yeah. planning for it. So should we, uh, committee meetings uh, or business casual attire, should we just add a line in there for that? Is that... I, I would put there are, you know, uh, allowable exceptions. So you want to do business casual on committee meetings? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, just you know, I with don't and wear put it in there with exceptions. Don't wear a tank top. Well, <laughs> but you should also say with exception due to work. Yeah. Appropriate attire is expected. Mm-hmm. And and then like work situations, which I usually don't have time to kill. <laughs> Probably working. I mean, there have been a, there have been a couple times that Bruce has come in right here from work, and yeah. and he's uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's here right after work. So, uh, while each council member or city official has the right to speak, he or she must request this right by addressing the president of council. Upon being recognized, he or she may proceed. When a council member and or city officer desires to address city council, they shall address the chair by saying, Mr. President or Madam President. If the individual is entitled to the floor, the presiding officer recognizes that fact by announcing the member's name. When two or more members address the chair at the same time, the president of council shall name the member entitled to speak first. This is something that, uh, and, and I, I do it pretty well, I think, in council. Yes, you do. But we, we need to maybe a little bit better in some of the committee meetings because we don't want two people talking at the same time. That, that's, the, um, that's the whole gist of this is that the public has the right to hear what everybody says. And uh, you can't really hear when two people are speaking at the same time. So uh, uh, sometimes you've heard me say who has the floor. To the chairman of whoever the committee is so uh, I'm not being no. nasty about it I'm just being you know we got to be able to hear it and at the same time we can add in here that really there should be no conversations going on between council members during a council meeting or committee meetings if you have something to say it's to be said in public because that's why we're here uh, no member of council and or city officer may filibuster so if you think you're getting along, you probably are. <laughs> Council members and or city officers shall speak on any subject matter in a succinct manner. No members of council or any other designated city official seated within the railing of council chambers shall leave council chambers during sessions without, without leave being granted by the president. And that's just a simple get my attention and tell me you got to go and I'll just give you a nod. There's no big, no biggie to that one. Yeah. 
uh, the president of council may upon his or her own discretion or upon the application of any member of council or any other designated city official seated within railing of council chambers determine a recess period as he or she seems necessary. Sometimes when we have longer meetings, we do take that sec that recess in the middle. It, and it, you know, I usually just ask and uh, uh, if anybody, sometimes we need a break, okay? Uh, this next one is the one that's gonna come up for discussion. A majority of a four member council committee shall be present to conduct business at a committee meeting. So we'll come back to that one, okay? Can All we finish right. through these? and? Dan, I know you have some comments you want to make, but let's finish the rest of these. We'll come back to that. All committee chairpersons are asked to submit a prepared agenda for their respective meetings to the council clerk or discuss with the council clerk what information is necessary for the meeting prior to all committee meetings. The council clerk will notify the administration, the mayor, service safety director, auditor, and law director of the proposed agenda so proper documentation can be provided for the issues to be discussed and we'll notify the media of proposed discussion items. Generally what we handle off of this is that uh, uh, it, depending on the items that have been placed into your committee uh, and then you know that that's the ones we're picking are the ones that have been placed into committee that are currently active. Mm -hmm. But anything else, a committee chairman should notify Todd uh, that he, they want something else on the agenda and if it's been placed in committee correctly we can have a discussion about it, okay? Uh, the, uh, so it's basically, what can we change that to, Rob? It's not a prepared agenda for their, they don't have to submit a prepared agenda. What wording can we use in there? Is this the bottom of page three? Yeah. Number 11. All committee chairpersons are responsible for the agenda for their respective meetings to the council meetings. Or how about informing the council clerk instead of yeah. preparing, how about informing the council clerk of... So, so I, I guess, step back for me a moment, uh, why, why is a prepared agenda for the meeting not appropriate? Well, Most they don't, don't generally do prepare the agenda. Okay. I mean, we have been preparing, Todd's been preparing the agendas based upon the items and yeah. then anything else that they tell him needs to go in. I mean, back when, I used to have to do my own agendas. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we you did too. too. Yeah. yeah. Before Todd, before we got Todd to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Aren't so, you glad you walked in here? <laughs> so, no, I think when we went to the went to the, all the committees at the same yeah. time and yeah. we, we kind of so, got away from that. So is the question, what do we want to call what we want the chair to send to Todd? Or is the question that we want to have something other than an agenda for the administration or whoever's attending to know what's going on? No, it's just that the second part of that is fine, where the council clerk will notify the mayor and all of the rest of them that these items are up for discussion. That part of it is fine. It's this first part of it. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's just submit. say submit agenda items. Yeah. Or and, and or information. Or however. Or request, you know, submit agenda items. Yeah, I mean if it's going to be request for information or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Twelve. Council, but, but anything that's in committee is still. Oh, oh yeah. We're still able to. Oh, yes. Anything yeah. in open. Yeah. Provided it's a yeah. regular meeting. Pardon me? Provided it's a regular meeting, not a special. Right, Correct. providing it is a regular meeting. When we have a special meeting, only the item on the agenda that's been announced to the public can be discussed. Okay. okay. Like next Tuesday at 6.40 and 6.45, we can't. And no, you can't. Anything else. No, no. And I need your approval if you want to do finance at 6.30 because we have to do advances. And Monica and Bill are okay, and I'm not heard from Steve. So if you're okay with finance at six thirty, what we're trying to do is avoid yeah. our uh, is to cancel the t meeting on the twenty first, the committee meetings. Oh yeah. Oh, we, we'd have to do it special anyway because that's be done before the first of the year. Yeah, In we've got this one thing from who? Yeah, uh, from ODOT. Just, well, no, this is uh, we've got three. Done, not to get off topic, but <laughs> we have a uh, service for the sewer, which we already know about. That's six forty five. We've got plotting at six forty because we need an ODOT. Um, 
consent thing for uh, Route 98 on the north side to pave that. And then finance needs to have two advances um, put into legislative form. Uh, Joyce mentioned it the last Thursday. She didn't have it last week. She has it today. So we need to um, have an advance. Uh, Get advances. those into legislation for the end of the year for her to yeah. So yeah. wrap it up. Okay, with 6.30 we'll do that. Well, that's the thing. Or Tuesday, or yeah, whatever. somewhere like that, because mm -hmm. I picked Sydney up on Tuesdays because Barb's teaching, so that's my day to pick her Can up. Can we go 6.40? Does that give you enough time? No, I mean, well, I, I'll tell her, as long as I tell her we've got to be ready to go at 6.30, then okay. I'll be yeah. here. But yeah, see if Steve can be here, then you'll have enough. Right. enough I mean, you know, I've, I've just not heard from him yet, but okay. I'm quite well. But I'll, I'll be here as quickly as possible. So. Number 12. Number 12. Uh, council committee members shall not call any executive session at committee meetings unless the council president or the law director or his designee are present. I think that's just a safeguard. That's yeah. all it is. Is that uh, uh, to make sure that the rules are being followed. And we have all of the... Rob, is there anything that we can do to shorten that up at all? <laughs> yeah, set up. I mean, I, I mean, I, uh, you know, belong to other. They don't go through all that. No, um, no, I, I don't think you, we need to go through all that. I think it just needs to be a motion, and I think it needs to specify what section, and and, and that's pretty much it. Okay, without having to repeat it, mm -hmm. and but we do have to do the uh, individual roll call. I know we have yeah. to do that. Yeah, but I, I think the the motion and the statement of why is is really all you need. Okay, and then once that's said, I can just say uh, we have a motion to go into executive session. Uh, I need a second, and then we do a roll call vote, and mm -hmm. then we're fine to go in there and we come out on a roll call yeah. vote. So we can mini uh, get rid of reading that that second time. Yeah. Okay. Why was that put in there? Rob Neff wanted it that way. Due to? I don't know. I would just, it was a I'm I'm sure you can extrapolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll make that change. Okay. Okay, so uh, miscellaneous. <coughs> all visitors, council persons, and administration members are asked to silence all electronic devices while council is in session. All communications, reports, and minutes from members of council shall be submitted in electronic format, Microsoft Word to the council <coughs> clerk along with uh, sign-in sheets and requests for legislation by noon on Friday following the joint regular council committee meetings. Uh, that just sort of basically sets up the beginning of our, we handle those, you sign you sign them, he always gets you to sign them. We're looking at creating a document, uh, an online document that does it a little bit differently than that one that we have right now. but. Uh, That'll pop up probably sometime after the first of the year once we get some time to work on it. But uh, we're in an electronic world. Uh, while we're talking about that, if you guys do any of your reports, uh, they shall be submitted in electronic form to the clerk of council by 10 a.m. on the day of council meeting. If you're submitting any kind of a special report or something, that you want in there. We need them by 10 a.m. so that we can get copies made, get them to be part of the uh, uh, the whole thing. Um, this here, uh, I will caution you, we're not talking about meetings here, but we all have our city email and uh, we do uh, gather text, your uh, a phone number for text messages. Is our first preferred method of communicating with you immediately. Does that work for everybody as far as uh, getting getting a hold of you is using the text message rather than because it's easier to check than your mail. You so, know. okay, well, since you're kind of on the electronic thing, mm -hmm. do we? I mean, I've had this, I've had the uh, city email. <laughs> I haven't accessed it more than once. Well, that's I've the thing, here. and I can only get it on my cell phone because I too dumb to how to set it up on my <laughs> computer or anywhere else. So, and I see some people don't even have the city email address. Who? Well, I don't, Joyce doesn't. Joyce has something at Hotmail, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. She shouldn't. Well, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Either, either yeah. we all do or 
if well, I if, think as council members we should I mean we had the discussion just the other day uh, when uh, the uh, new members were in here about you know if you use your own mail you open it up then yeah. to be so that's why we encourage you if you have an issue with your mail getting it set up uh, uh, John Rostash is available to show you how to get it set up on your computer or on your phone however you because I need to get it on my phone I well on my phone it's easy I just go out and sign in uh, well, see, I get it, get on it my, off the website I can get it on my phone and then like I don't know at home all you have to do is go to the website I have one. Well, I email. guess I probably do. You're probably right. You just go to the website, City of I guess I never did it. So. And then go down and I just email my, email, email myself over to my other email. That's what I say, you know? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me try that. Okay. I, I, I've never even, I've, I think I've accessed it one time in the two years. So okay. I, Todd sends it to my Gmail, and it's strictly, all, right. it, has, all it has on there is. You I know, don't have anything other than city business. I agree with you about that, with the one exception, is that he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he but doesn't they know, will. and why should I have to keep an extra one for you? I'm just saying. We, when we it, can all, I get it so much quicker. It's all there. I get it right now. It's all there for you to look at. And you can set up notifications on it. So I like it when Todd does. He can keep sending me. So, <laughs> so the other side of that too, though, is if a member of public wants to communicate with you, you know, do you not get that then? Or if they, I, they I just haven't had. I tried to access it. I don't have that. Well, now here, here's an op here's an option. Instead of you know, like it's easy to do if you're a ward, ward one, ward two, ward three, ward four, the council large ones. That, that, that's rather mm -hmm. th well, to have to. Dan, Dan has one that's his name. That is they, a city. That is a city. Well, that's just because Ross has shut it up that way. But right. That well, is a I city. guess the point I'm making is maybe. Because he had an old one. He had an old one. Yeah. Look at doing that yeah. going forward instead of having an at-large one, yeah. even for yeah. your wards. I mean, we can change. We can change the name yeah. on it if uh, so. You know, put your name out there. Yeah. Like your f first initial and last name or something yeah. at. That might be better because the average citizen doesn't know who's at large or what no. necessarily. They don't. We they I know mean, the we names, can, but we they can don't make that we can make the change of just being your first initial and your last name. If you want to, we can tell John we want to make that switch for everybody over at the first of the year. Okay? Make and everyone has to have the city. Everyone uses the city email. Okay. I mean I just want everybody on yeah. the same that way we're all doing the same thing. All right. Okay. And so we'll be handing out papers with all this information on and uh, also the phone numbers so that each person wants to use for their texting. Okay. Got that? I have all one. I've already got it once. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all council committee chairpersons are responsible for their own committee minutes. If a meeting is electronically recorded or if you record it, uh, uh, the recording shall be given to the council clerk with date and committee name noted. It, if we record it, which we're going to be going to the position where they're going to be filming it, and uh, they're going to be putting it on access. I guess access was down again the other day, but it's back up working now. So, uh, and it was a little rough, I guess, Tuesday night that it was uh, <laughs> it was there, and then it was gone for a little bit, and then it was back again, and so. Uh, we got a few things we're still trying to get Gary to work out on that. But if you perchance record something at a meeting, we have to have a copy of it. We have to have a copy of it because it's at that point it's a public record. Uh, and he'll <laughs> keep them. Um, all committee referrals shall be made by the president of the council during the council meeting. If an emergency issue arises, the council president may bypass the formal committee referral process and assign the emergency issue to the proper committee for consideration of study. So we've had a few things pop up where we, uh, we've had to do this where uh, they, they call us and tell us at the end of the week we need to have uh, uh, ODOT needs a paper. They're good at that. All letters of correspondence and their petitions dealing only with the city government that are submitted to council presentation must include name and address of the author in order to be read at a public council meeting. No anonymous letters will ever be read. Uh, 
All correspondence and or petitions for each respective council meeting shall be received by the clerk of council by noon on, on the Friday preceding the said scheduled council meeting. I, I was toying around with this and thinking that noon Monday was the better rather than Friday. The yep. day before? Is that workable? Yeah. Okay. You want to change that to Monday? Yeah. So for a Tuesday meeting, if we get something at noon mm -hmm. on Monday, and because we're seeing things coming in, people mail them, they don't make it here over the weekend, you know. The council has shall have the exclusive right to use the uh, use of council chambers for council or committee meetings, although the council chambers may be used by others upon permission of the clerk of council when there is no conflict with council use. The clerk of council shall notify all council members when scheduling council chambers for a meeting for other than council or committee meetings. You hand out the, the, the uh, calendar. The clerk of council shall be responsible for and control the flower fund designed for elected officials. The clerk of council and mayor staff members in the event of a serious illness, hospitalization, and or death of an immediate family member, example, a spouse, da, 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 uh, contributions to said funds shall be in voluntarily. We usually collect $10 twi in January and in June, January, July. January, July. January, July. And uh, FYI, Bruce did not want anything at all <laughs> this time with his surgery. So if you wonder why we didn't pass a card around or anything else, that's why. The President Pro Tem and Clerk of Council shall be elected by a two-thirds vote of Council as determined on Ohio Revised Code 73104. Uh, council rules may be amended or altered or new rules adopted at any regular meeting of Council on the report of a proper committee to which the subject has been previously referred by the vote of the majority of all members selected to Council. It shall be the duty of the council president to see that all rules pertaining to his or her office are enforced. Rules of procedure of council of the city of Usaris operating under a statutory form of government and formally adopted by the Usaris city codified ordinance do not continue from term to term but must be readopted by succeeding council. So these rules of procedures we adopt every two years. That's what we're holding on to right here. Uh, all council rules shall be on file in the clerk of council office. Anything that you think that we did not address that you think should be addressed? Did, is you feel safe here? You do feel? Do I feel safe? No, I don't feel safe in here. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know that that is an issue, and I'm thinking that the police officer being here is. Oh no, I don't mean like that. I'm not worried about anyone walking in. I'm worried about the people you sitting around here. Okay, we're a dangerous <laughs> bunch. <laughs> but you uh, sit too close to Rob. <laughs> Uh, no, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh did we? Did you want to address anything about the filming of it or anything? In or does that is that separate from this? Is that part third, of the third rules? parties? No, the the access and all. Uh, that. That's yeah, it's kind of separate. That's separate. Okay. Okay, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. Okay. But it's just it's everybody know that if you record anything. Yeah. We have to have a copy. Well, of what about what about uh, bank house? Bank third, house third party. Party. Publics can do it. Yeah, he's not. Oh, public. He's, oh, public. Okay. he's not covered by this. Okay, I see. If we, as yeah. we the elected, part of the sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. Public record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Okay, let's go back to item number ten on page three then. Majority of a four-member council committee shall be present to conduct business at a committee meeting. Uh, so majority of four is three, and uh, the uh, Dan had brought up the idea of we used to have just three people on, on each committee, mm -hmm. and I think there's a, there are definite advantages to that. Dan had brought that up. Dan, if you want to expound on that. Oh, I just when I first got on council, we were we were, there was only three of us, and I noticed. By having so many, if anyone remembers when we got into the sidewalk issue there, uh, what was it? The uh, was it? It bounced back from health and safety and same four it? members. And yeah, and he said, "Well, it shouldn't be in this committee; it should be in the other one." And we turn around, and it's the same four people. You yeah, know? And it's like, well, we didn't solve anything here. Uh, 
But anyhow, the, the ultimate thing is it still has to come back to council. So it doesn't matter if you got two people, it still has to come back to all seven of us to, to, to ultimately. So by having four, I think when we went to four, we were having uh, committee meetings uh, Spor I mean, they sporadic. were scheduled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, some would be on Monday, some would be on Wednesday, yeah. some would be on Thursday, and now with the new new format where all of our meetings are together on uh, all Thursday here. evening, yeah. uh, everybody's here that we could. And I like it from the fact that it's not a uh, it's not a uh, majority of council. It's only uh, three members. It, it takes four yes. to be a majority uh, of council. I, I, I th I've always found the four to be problematic for a couple of things, and I, you and I disagree. And, and there's probably there's no real answer on it whether or not two constitutes a quorum for purposes of public records so that's what I was and, and there's and it's not a majority but it technically is because if it's two that aren't the chairperson my argument would be if it's two that aren't the chairperson that's two that can be voting two to one which would constitute a majority for vote purposes and it's a gray area there's not a definitive thing and and and, and there's no right or wrong answer to it Except I'm right, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you've been that. proven yeah. wrong yeah. twice. <laughs> you've been proven wrong twice. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it, I mean it, it's it's a gray area, but it's one of those things that always kind of makes me a little uncomfortable, you know, with the two things. So I, I, that's why I'm a, I pr I'm a proponent of the three. Okay, one question: <laughs> If you have only three, Dan and I on the same committee, we want to discuss something between us. We can't do it. No. So when you have four, Dan and I can discuss something. Maybe, maybe not. Why? It's not, well, because it's that's not a quorum. That's We're what, not a quorum. Well, but that's what I'm saying. It, it, are the, you the, already not? The, as, as, as in Robert's rules, the chairman still can vote. Well, I don't care about Robert's rules. I'm caring about Ohio Revised Code and it's Sunshine still. Laws. So, Robert, so the, the quorum as defined by Robert's rules is not controlling in my opinion, with respect to what is a quorum for sunshine. Okay, what is a quorum for sunshine? Well, that's what we disagree on, and I don't think there is a definite answer when it's a four-person committee if if two is a quor is is enough. Because it just says the word majority, right? Exactly. And, and two is not a majority of four. Except if it's two that aren't the chair, that's, that's the voting majority. But yeah. the chair can always vote. I, I, Am I, I wrong? Understand. No, I don't disagree, and I don't. And, I, and I'm saying that there's not. I'm, I'm saying it could be argued either way. But I'm saying when there's only three, then it's not arguable. But can we, if we can, we go in and we say that the the chair does vote. Is that our option? And then we have then. I don't think there's anything in ORC that that prohibits it. Well, if they if it was prohibited, then the two votes that happened this past year. No, no. Well, there's well, Robert speci calls for there's specific rules that allow the chair yeah. to vote in certain circumstances. Yeah. Uh, to make a tie. Yeah. Or yes. or, to or break, break a tie. A tie. To yeah. make or break a tie. So. Whereas in city council, I only have the right to vote to break a tie. That's correct. I, have I to, don't have the right to make one. I have no. to be at the humane society for something at five thirty. Uh, okay. I'm gonna run over there. You're getting but, a puppy. No, I am not going to be a puppy. <laughs> um, but uh, there's no right or wrong on the three or four. It's it's just one of those gray areas that I don't like. But uh, it, it's it's not my call, and and I don't think there's anything clearly wrong. Uh, nor do I think. Is there a way to find wrong. out what? No, it's just be going to be some other no. lawyer's opinion. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And and I, so I don't I don't think you're wrong either way. Um, just, you know. Because sometimes I, when you got something on your mind, you, you can't wait to council to talk to the other member. You would like to talk to another member to get their feedback. Or I'm not saying anything. If you call me, I won't tell anybody. Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right. well, you know what I'm saying. Call me if you have a question or something. Yeah, we will. All right. I just with the with the format we have now, I just don't see the, the sense in it. And like, okay, just like this. This coming this uh, what Thursday? If I run into a snag and I'm not here, and and well, you know. St Steve just told me he'll be here. Okay. So, <laughs> so anyhow, uh, you know they can take care of business uh, without, and then it still has to come in front of council. Okay. If, if yeah, that's, that's the point. Is all this does 
come back to council. It all comes back to council, so that's all. And and with this format, we're all here anyhow, and we always have input. You know, I have an input on health yeah. and safety issues, okay. and, and and so I just don't see where. I mean, it's going to make it easier. Hey, can you be here for this early meeting? You know, when we have these early ones and things like that, and and uh, so that, that's just my opinion. So, gentlemen, you're going to be serving. I like it for. I do too. I I I, I like it at four because of that. You know, if we only have two here, we can't. You know. I understand that, yes. And I think that's one of the reasons that uh, I think back when we made the change to four uh, and uh, it, a lot of it had to do with uh, hours that different people were working. Right. I mean, I was working eight to five, during, you know, back then. And uh, others were, you know, we were having tough times getting people here. Right. Uh, but uh, I think it gives, I think it gives maybe a little bit more direct input into the committees by having four different opinions. Uh, voice and I and we've never been uh, we, we've never been reluctant to let a chairman of a committee also voice their opinion I mean we do not no. we didn't we don't silence the chairman of a committee no. No. we allow the chairman of the committee to have as much voice in the committee as any of the other members as it should as opposed to council where up there I'm conducting the meeting is that's what I'm doing is conducting the meeting and uh, it's, I stick an opinion in once in a while, but uh, I and try not to. And we asked you for your opinion too. Yeah, at time. yeah. I try not to, because uh, the vote is yours, not mine. Uh, but I need to be aware of discussions in case it does come down to. Uh, I mean, we have a member now that's going to be out for a protracted period of time uh, because of a surgery. So, uh, uh, you know, in the past we've been lucky when Bill had his knee done. He was back here. He missed one meeting, I think. But uh, if uh, someone has to have something that uh, uh, they're not going to be really, I mean, like Bruce cannot even take any chances of getting bumped or anything for, I think it's at least six weeks because of his surgery. So uh, uh, those, are, those are the kind of things where we know he's not going to be available. So that sort of closes down the activity on the committees too. Uh, Andy, any? Uh, Kind of neutral on it, either okay. one. I mean, I'm not neither sounding like it's a major okay. advantage I, over another. You prefer four? Okay. I, I mean, I, I see his point. Three, yeah. A little more variety. I think it might be easier on scheduling with three, but. Well, actually, a lot of times when we look at it, once we get three, then we stop. Yeah. If we, you know, if we've got three that well, are committed, we don't push the fourth one because if they're here, fine. If they're not here, fine. And uh, the, you know, the, the the one thing that I do encourage you is that, you know, if uh, he's perchance leaving a voicemail, uh, don't let your voicemails and things fill up to where, you know, you can't leave a message. There's nothing. Mine did that the other day. I didn't realize it. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why I usually. She's addressing you. No, that's not. probably is. Someone said, "Hey, you're actually, it was a friend of mine that, that uh, and I sent her a text. Now she could get a text message, so I sent her a text message. Clean out your yeah. Clean out your voicemail. You know. Well, that's why we do text before voicemail before email because a text is always going to get through. Yeah. People don't always check their emails. <coughs> voicemails get, you know, yeah, boxed in. So. Okay. So this we're looking like we want to keep it at four then. Do you want to bring it up before full council? Well, we've about got it here. Yeah, we so. do, yeah. <laughs> you know what, for the sunshine yeah, thing, I would be a, more than okay with three. I just, that really, really worries me. That okay. Be, especially that gives you the opportunity, like you said, for two people to discuss it. Well, as far as I'm concerned. You guys concerned. work together. That, well, yeah. Well, how's that, that going to work? Just, you know, the time that Doug what and I if I walk in the there to Festival see or? somebody. Yeah. If I walk in your office, we've already, if we talk about. Yeah, council business. Well, if we go to any public gathering like at the park. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Well, like Kevin brought up, him and I work in the festival together, you know, so mm -hmm. now we're two of us working beside each other there. And yeah. I mean, and, and you know, those are the things that we just have to see to it, that we pay attention, that, you know, I can talk to you and say hi, hi, and, you know, talk to your grandkids or whoever's with you or, 
your you kids and see what class, they're doing and, and everything. But, uh, you know, you just have to make sure that, uh, especially if there are people around, because there are people to watch. Well, yeah. and that's something I was kind of alluding to is, is I imagine, you know, somebody's a little offended because of not winning their election, so I could see them paying attention to what the rest of us do. Oh, yeah. And if so, bringing up an issue. Yeah. There's, there's a certain one that always shows up periodically. To <laughs> always shows up periodically. <laughs> that sentence is just so wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's so wrong, but she, she purposely comes at convenient times. Yeah. Uh -huh. Initials are B and D, so <laughs> it says... Uh, Careful, the media's listening. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> he already knows. <laughs> You're blaming Zach. He'll get it, he'll get it wrong anyhow. anyhow. He'll get it wrong. He'll say the wrong thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's harsh. Yeah. No. Well, he I'll knows. proceed, I'll I'll proceed with four. Time. And if you want to bring it up for a discussion to the full council, please no, feel I mean, free to do it. It's not oh, up to me. Has it's everybody gotten like their uh, requests in to me as to what committees they're interested in? You have it in your pocket? I emailed you already. You emailed me? Okay, I'll get it. You got mine, right? I got yours. Yeah. You got to send it? Okay. I'll send it, yeah. Okay. So, yes, those you have mine. Uh -huh. I'll give them to you prior to the January 2nd meeting. Okay, you'll have them ahead of time uh, to look at them and whine and whatever you want to do about it. And <laughs> then uh, we have to. Should uh, I um, so try to get uh, Bruce's input on that? Yes, if you can, it's probably maybe oh, the best thing would be to give Kim the paper. I think Kim has been in and out, yeah. so uh, give her the paper and ask her to uh, if he'd follow up with that. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we've been at it long enough today, haven't we? Well, there's just one more thing, and then I'm, okay. and then I'm done since we talked about the camera and stuff. Why? I mean, just I don't know who would do this if if you throw it in John's lap or what, but. Why does he not? Why? And I've asked him about it for two years now. Why can't he put, start a YouTube channel and put this stuff on YouTube? We had that discussion this morning. Okay. And because uh, then we're talking about uh, because we can put a link right on the front page of our of our website, right. <clears throat> and that was that was a discussion item that today that that w is going to happen. Okay. Do we not have a Facebook page? We do not have a Facebook page, I don't believe. Council doesn't. Know. I mean, doesn't the city? I mean, could, if the city had one, we could. Somebody the did. police department does. The I think department. the fire department does. I don't know that the administration does. Oh, there was does. A, <laughs> something, employees or something. Yeah. I think me and John Rostash are the only members. Yeah, some employees <laughs> do. I mean, the mayor does. I mean, Mr. Yeah, Rostash does. Know. I've seen something. I thought, okay, I'm an employee. Another so. great avenue to share things like boil advisories and weather updates. Having yeah. Did everybody get signed up for the boil advisories and all that? You guys, have you been informed about how to do that? What's that? The it's boil advisories all do. <laughs> throughout the city? Okay, don't let me forget that. We can get you all set up. We have, uh, uh, the, uh, it's through EMA, yeah. and uh, they have a notification system, like I got one today notifying me that there, there was a water break right out in front of uh, Dr. Britton's office, and so there's a boil advisory from Penn, I think it is, out to Stetzer Road. Well, there's two oh. now. I just got another one. Oh, you just got another <coughs> one? Okay. I just turned my phone off. So. so we can get you on those so that, and you may want to know, you can you can limit it to your neighborhood or you can spread it out over the city. And, you know, as council members, you may want to know well, what is going on in the city. Know, you know, I think if you want to know the whole city so you can inform people just as yeah. well. So it's, it's one of those things they'll send you that you go to a website and then you pick and choose which ones you want to be notified of. Okay. So it's uh, it's all you to do. So we can we'll make sure we'll get you all signed up with that. Okay. I've got another question, if it's appropriate now, about the access channel. At some point, are you going to consider maybe updating your cameras? Because the, when you look at the view of it, it's it's a horrible picture. Yes. And uh, I always ask him, "What did we give you all this money for this? I don't. What did he yeah. buy? I don't I mean, know." You what could he even bought. use an iPad and get much higher quality. Well, I know. You know, we says, were talking about. He says, "I got to do the lights." Does it does it make sense that we would buy? Uh, I mean, if he would just simply not put it on live, but put it on right after the council meeting, he'd record the council meeting and then put it on right after that, and then of course it's shown twice a day for the two weeks in between. So we're trying to come up with something that works better because 
either it's either the sound isn't good or the picture is so bad and you look so fuzzy you can't there are too many of us with white hair out there right now that uh, tell who's who I mean I don't know if, you, if you've watched the, the feed from the, the citizen that records is it, it's a great picture and great sound yeah and he's he doesn't have a ton of money wrapped up in that yeah well we're gonna we're discussing that as to what direction we're going we finally got uh, spectrum uh, to the point where they were even discussing this with us and uh, it took uh, the the law director did not contact spectrum he contacted the Public Utilities Commission and uh, they got their attention so well, sometimes you well has anything been changed with the lights in here yeah because all the lights have been changed all out these and the, all these and in here have been yeah. changed out all the ones in there have been changed out to the new that's the new ballast and everything put that's on That's what he's Need been telling me for two we didn't years. Go, we didn't go LED? They're whatever, is they yeah. are LEDs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, There's only are. like half the number of lights in here that were in here. Yeah, okay. well, they're already, just as yeah. bright or brighter. Uh, you can't notice these because of this this brutalist grid that we have here. But um, but yeah, these are all LEDs in both, and these are about half as many as we had before. Yeah. Half about of those are out anyway. Yeah. So we got a credit. We get a credit from AEP for making yeah. those changes, and he's working on the rest of the lights here at City Hall right now, too. In order to do that, I don't know if you know that we we do have a new maintenance man, Eric. Clady. Mm. Clady, yeah. yes. And uh, he's doing an excellent job with that. We just have to get, we're going to have to make a decision about that. Either we get a better camera with better sound, or he's going to record it and then put it on and... Uh, uh, he had asked for some some equipment that came to like almost fifteen thousand dollars, right. and we weren't going to spend fifteen thousand dollars. Well, we just he just we bought something. It. What did he buy? He, I never understood what he bought. I thought it was stuff there to make it work with Spectrum. Yeah. Mm. I don't. Did know. I, we, I swore we approved money for that. Mm, no, we did. It was a small amount. It was well under. He had money that he saved over yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. X number of years yeah. that added up to all that all amount that he did not okay. spend, and it's still in his budget. Well, no, you, it comes out of your budget at the end of the year. Well, but You're that's what it. he yeah. didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll follow up with you. I just remember. Because we need a better quality picture and better sound. Yeah. And so, I'm uh, a lot of complaints. <laughs> yeah. <about it. laughs> yeah. And a lot of it's amazing the number of people that do watch it on Access Channel. Yeah. And um, the uh, we need to take advantage of that. And like you said, the the YouTube thing we can set up our own and well, do it there. Have to just be a crazy expensive, like, huge camera like that. I mean, heck, even what Kurt's got. So I said, yeah. he's, he's probably got a five to eight hundred dollar camera there yeah. at, at top end. Yeah. Yeah. If that. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. If, if that. Yeah, and if he records it then and he can flip it and then and put it on. Camcorders aren't what they were 10 years ago yeah. and outrageously expensive. Okay. Times it doesn't. You make a note, we'll follow up with that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're going to get new TV and speakers. We need a new camera too. Okay, yeah. Now we're going to have speakers in here? Yes, there'll be speakers in here and in the back of the room. So we can hear better. And then you're getting the TV as well, aren't you? So yeah. We're going to put a TV up over here, and then I, anybody can use it that's mm -hmm. in here hooked up to that. And mm -hmm. I mean, and then uh, uh, as people come in to do presentations, yeah. well, you know, we can all, agenda. everybody can see it see it there. Put an agenda up there for meetings yep. and things yep. like that. So. Yep. yep, I could all be there. Uh, the other have, thing that is forthcoming, huh? Could we not have a monitor here for council to see? Because sometimes that's hard. Especially like for Danda or who's ever sitting at this end. Of we might look to see about putting one up there too. It wouldn't have to be that big, yeah. but it could fit up there and it wouldn't obstruct the view. And Yeah, okay. We'll look into that. The other thing that Rob and I have been looking into, and we were working when you, I think you guys came in yesterday, <laughs> Rob and I were working on that, that uh, we're looking to make some, uh, the, there might be some changes to update our form, our protocol that we use for council meetings. Uh, to make it a little bit more uh, fitting with the majority of the ones. I mean, this, this format, uh, with the exception of about two things, has been in place, I can guarantee you, since 2003. So, uh, because that's when I came on council. Right. And so, uh, 
Uh, we've been looking at some things that they're doing in Worcester and uh, several other cities around here that, uh, uh, you know, address issues about having first, second, and third readings uh, for legislations and some things like that that uh, I think would move things along a little bit better for us. So uh, when Rob and I get to the point where we've got something to just physically be able to show you, we'll get this ad hoc group back together again, okay? Okay, so we need to adjourn then. Can I have a motion? Right here. Okay, second? Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Time is? 546. 546, okay.